Hi there, I'm Cynthia, your host for our IDS Uncover series. Today we have here with us Kai Xiang. Would you like to introduce yourself? My name is Kai Xiang. I'm 34 and I run a video, a small video production company. And please share with us your skin history. How has it been? What was your skin like before? I have a cystic acne condition, uh, very oily face, and redness all around the cheeks and nose, especially the nose. So the cystic acne, it's like there's no pore. The inflammation is very, very deep underneath the skin. And uh, it always appears on my cheeks or jawline. Or, and because there's no pore, uh, there's no way that I can squeeze it out and it damaged like the flesh of skin underneath. So I mean I mean when it finally bursts out or something like that, it leaves a scar as you can see. Uh. Mm. What kind of treatments have you received here? Uh, when I first consultation with the doctor here, he told me that the scars are secondary. The the main issue is to treat the skin condition. Uh, he immediately identified that it's a combination of dry and oily skin. Mm -hmm. Of course, he also prescribed Oratane or yeah. Accutane. Okay. And the rest is products to, to make the skin more healthier. Healthier and to calm it down? Yeah, to reduce the redness. Because he says that scars, what makes scars so obvious is the redness that mm. causes the, the contrast that people can notice uh, that it's okay. the scar. So the doctor told me that even if they do a scar treatment on a bad condition skin, it, it won't have much effect because mm. it doesn't have collagen, it doesn't promote growth and it needs to be of a certain good condition in order to do uh, to have effective treatments for the scars. So your skin needs to be healthier in order to yes. receive further treatments. Yes, 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 yes. So in order to do that, the doctor prescribed me products to use. Okay. I have the uh, cleanser, mm -hmm. then the pore formula. Okay. Then C plus. Okay. Then moisturizer. Mm-hmm. A plus. Ah, what am I missing? Sunscreen? Six products. Wow. Okay. So you've been using them diligently every day? No. <laughs> when, I, <laughs> when I first started, right, I got lazy. It's like too troublesome, too marvel. I mean, why got people got time to do so many things? Like sometimes I'll also forget to use them, I just uh, forget, forget, I try to remember, try to use it when I, whenever I can remember. But as time progresses, the redness are slowly disappearing. Uh, my face is no longer oily. Mm. It's, it, it, it just feel very comfortable to, it's like the first time, I don't know why, uh, my face is so refreshing, I guess. Mm, okay, so that's a lot of products for a guy to use. Yeah. How do you feel about that? <laughs> uh, of course, I because my face is more of like a condition. You have no idea how bad the cyst acne is. It's underneath the skin, and then it stays for the longest that it stays. It's about a month. A month of acne <laughs> staying there. Oops. It's it's really it's really very bad. Then sometimes they will automatically just. Oh dear. I mean, when you're like walking on the street And then it just bursts? It just bursts So, you're like permanently, ha permanently having a tissue on your hand And then you just keep cleaning, touching, touching <laughs> and it's, The tissue is dead with blood and pus So, have you received any other kinds of treatments here? Yes, of course, for the scars, uh, I did laser treatments okay. uh, It's called PICO And I think it's good because it has a very, very small downtime, five days. And I think what it does is it resurfaces a little bit of the scars because I, I can see that some of my scars are not as deep as before. And it, I guess it promotes collagen on the areas that have been uh, treated with the pico. Okay. And I guess it's still in progress as you can see. Uh, okay. And more treatments to go. Uh. To end off, uh, would you like to give a piece of advice to our male viewers? If you have a skin condition that I had, acne, like cystic acne everywhere, scars, redness and all, right? If you are like in a meeting room or you're trying to get a number from a girl, 
and then your cis pimple is drooling out pus and blood and you have a tissue anytime ready to dab on another blood, right? I mean, some girls, they are just too polite to tell you that hey, your pimple is bleeding. Oh my gosh. Yeah. If these conditions are really bad, right? Just go for treatments. Uh. That's true. Okay, so... Well, thank you for your time, Tai Siang. Mm -hmm.